that door open. Don't think I can pick this. No luck? We'll need to find the key. See that platform that was in the distance? Bad Moon Rising by Nervil Feltz. Live. That's the elevator Thanks, from the David. mayor's office. Hello, Commonwealth. We have a I'll very special here. treat for all of you lovely listeners. It's an excerpt from a drama titled time. Bell, Book, and Candle. The story is about a girl named Jillian who is a witch. Her love interest, Chef, and her aunt, Miss Holroyd. If a witch falls in love, she loses her supernatural powers. In this scene, Miss Holroyd has been caught in Chef's apartment, and Jillian explains her disapproval of Miss Holroyd's actions. Jillian is played by Anna Arlington, and Miss Holroyd is played by yours truly, Casey Kessler. Institute he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain airheaded blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you... I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on, can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Just trust me. It's important. You have my word. You really thought that would work? Please. All I wanted... You do seem like a sweetheart. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your baby's lucky he has a mother like you. I hope you find him. Donna won't, won't be give able you to the pick key. This. Try his secretary. No way I can pick this. She's not above taking a bribe. Let me grab some snacks for us. Cheers.
telling you. It ain't just a story. University point, that settlement on the coast, wiped out by sins. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a merch babe. Favorite things. Gwyneth stout beer, forty four caliber bullets. Cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. There's gotta be someone who can help. Yeah, let me think. There is someone I know. A specialist of a kind. Always goes his own way, but I can get him here. This if he can help, drama, let's do it. All right. I'll send out the signal. Of You're not gonna hear it. To Frequency is high, but he'll pick it up. Get out of here. Get me some money too. Peggy okay, I next. called him. Let's wait outside. Get to work, dog meat. This is your friend? He's a dog. That's right. A Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Show him the cigar. He'll pick up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. <laughs> 